Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 4th through to the 10th. I went ahead, shuffle cards, lay them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. But first, I would like to wish any of you celebrating a birthday this week a very, very happy birthday and many, many more. So let's get to your reading, Aries. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Devil in Reverse, followed then by the Two of Cups upright, and next we have the Six of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Page of Swords upright, and lastly, we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. So for your overall energy, Aries, you have the devil in the reverse position. It's Capricorn energy. The devil in the upright position can sometimes come up when we have... Um, sometimes it's it's just simply representing uh, fear holding us back, but sometimes it can come up when we are sort of delving into uh, or giving into it, obsessions and um, addictions and so forth. That's what it's all about. It's about the bondage to the material and... Um, you know, sometimes these things don't serve us in the long run. When it's in the upright position, luckily for you this week, Aries, it is reversed. So in the reverse position, this can indicate a very strong willpower where we're sticking to our guns about something. Also, too, for some of you, this can simply represent that um, not allowing fear to hold, hold you back from a specific situation. Say, for example, you're wanting to change your jobs, change careers, you know, change where you live, that kind of thing. And maybe you had some fears going on that was holding you back, you know, stopping you from moving forward and making some much needed changes. Well, now you don't have to worry about that. In this week, the willpower will be strong as well as you are not allowing fear to stand in your way. So, Good news for your overall. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Two of Cups for you here, Aries. The Two of Cups in the upright position points to that sort of connection where we're on the same page with someone. For some of you, this could be your partner, your uh, your best friend, your business partner, could be your romantic partner, husband, wife, whatever the situation is. This is to the meeting of the not only the minds, but the meeting of the hearts and the soul connection sometimes known as the soulmate card, the twin flame kind of energy. Could be for some of you, you are meeting somebody new at the beginning of the week and maybe you're just really hitting it off. For others of you, this could just be a nice connection. Perhaps you run into somebody, could be an old friend or someone that you always got along with, we're always on the same page with, and you guys are having a really nice encounter. Uh, for others of you, definitely this could be a connection with somebody who really, really feels right to you. Now, this would make sense with the devil in reverse here. This could be fear, not like not allowing the fear to hold you back from accepting this relationship or getting closer to this person. Could be for others of you, perhaps you're just on the same page with your your husband or wife or your uh, business partner. Perhaps you guys are planning something. And it's like, you know, you're you're talking about, you're discussing it, and you're both getting quite excited about it, and it's bringing the two of you closer. Now, the next card we have up is the Six of Pentacles in the upright position. This is a yes card for those of you who are thinking about applying for something, applying for a loan or something like that, or, um, you know, maybe getting backing for your business, things like that. There could be uh, definitely a yes. This is a generosity card also known as an energy that brings balance back into a relationship that perhaps has lost its balance. This is where it bounces back again. So it could be with the two of cups being here, perhaps you were you and your partner were out of balance and now the balance is returned to the relationship. For others of you, this, like I said, could be uh, good news if you need a mortgage or, you know, a car loan or something like that from the bank. Remember, Energies can go both ways, so it's possible too. Aries, it could be somebody needing your generosity at this point. It could be um, a partner, could be your husband or wife, uh, could be a child, somebody in your close circle that could be reaching out to you, asking you for assistance. 
moving on towards the weekend, we have the Page of Swords here in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, the Page of Swords is known uh, for a lot of uh, different types of energy. It is a page. Usually, pages bring in some kind of message. So, it could be that a message is, you'll be hearing a message later on this week, Aries. But you might have to, whatever information or news you're hearing, you might have to make sure that you do your research on it because you can only be getting part of the story. For some of you, this could be someone who uh, doesn't really have the greatest command <laughs> of uh, communication skills. So it could be somebody who, you know, just sort of texts you back, one word answers, that kind of thing. Um, for others of you, this could be about gossip that you hear. Sometimes the Page of Swords can represent gossip that you hear. I always equate it to... Uh, you know, the, the gossip at the water cooler at, at work. It tells you, you know, the rumors, the latest rumors that's going on with the company and so forth. Could be a little bit of that. For others of you, this could make a lot of sense if you had applied for a new job or you're applying for something. This could be just someone doing a background check on you. Others of you, it's a little bit of stalker energy. There could be somebody uh, checking out on your social media, things like that. Just sort of, you know, doing a little investigating <laughs> on you, of you. <laughs> Uh, last card you have is the Four of Cups in the reverse position, pointing back to the Three of Cups in the upright, which is a card that represents celebration, beautiful, that it's coming around the weekend. We've got weekend energy here. You could be celebrating something for some of you. It is new love for others of you. It is a new business or a new uh, financial situation that's going on. Um, you know, the Four of Cups in the upright position points to that sort of emotional apathy where we just, you know, the universe could be trying to offer you something, but at this point you're just kind of like, don't care, not really into it, focused on other things right now. But when the card is reversed, this could be something or someone has jump-started your emotions. It's making you feel some kind of way, could be wanting to celebrate, and in that celebration you could be you know, bringing a lot of attention to yourself. Well, it is Aries season after all. So perhaps, um, you know, there are people around who are interested in you. If you're single and looking, definitely good news for you this week. But that's what I have for you. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you. And do tell us how so. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye for now.